Hey, what's up, Staunch Gang? We're back with another quickie review. I'm going to be doing these kind of shorter form reviews for some obscure stuff and some more popular stuff. You can uh, you can vote on my community post over on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Normally, I make a longer form stuff, you know, but sometimes it's really not worth going through all that work and, you know, the, the fan base just really isn't there, but that doesn't mean that I don't still want to recommend some stuff for you guys and have you vote on it. So tonight, we're doing one of my all-time favorite oddball 90s movies. A film that was lost in the mix with every other Tarantino-esque film of the time, for whatever reason. Yet, I do recommend 1997's Touch for any fans of strange 90s ensemble Elmore Leonard adaptations. Uh, did I say strange? I meant flat out bizarre. What have you got? He raised his hands. A little boy who's gonna die of cancer after the juvenile touched him. What is it about juvenile? Blood flowed out as if nails have been driven through his Touch palm. is a pretty damn cool film. What I consider to be among Paul Schrader's best. Even though he wanted to adapt Rum Punch. You know, but famously, Tarantino beat him to the punch. Or to the rum punch, if you will. So Schrader instead decided to make Elmore Leonard's Touch. And I haven't got to read the book, but it sounds pretty cool. And while having some Tarantino regulars in tow, well, Schrader got the job done. And I'm not only talking Christopher Walken. We even got, like, one of the co-stars to Jackie Brown, Bridget Fonda, in this film. And it has that overall Tarantino feel regardless, you know, the cool music and the cool tone and the cool ensemble cast featuring a lot of comedians, which is something Tarantino used to do a lot back in the day. It really has that feel, you know, but at times I agree, it gets pretty dull. But the oddity of the movie will keep you involved, I promise. What if you were in a position to tell your own story on national television? What is my story? Touching people. You touch people, they change. Oh, God, what are you doing to me? In the film, a young man named Juvenile discovers he can use his newly found stigmata to cure people, and then finds that there are many people trying to exploit his miracle. The film is directed by Paul Schrader, and is done in that classic film noir style, um, you know, the, the way only Paul Schrader can, and is a very oddball comedy in its own right, trust me. The film acts as an intertwining ensemble that maybe relies too much on its romantic subplot. I don't know, I never did read the book, but the film is very funny and dark, and Touch remains one of those other Elmore Leonard movies that just never quite got the following they should have. Oh, and this is also one of LL Cool J's best roles to date. LL, oh, can I call you LL or should I call you J or Mr. Cool What's maybe? Your <laughs> What's your problem? What? I don't have to take the right? No, no. Uh, LL. Oh, and uh, fun fact the film is also scored by Dave Grohl. And here, Tom Arnold plays a pretty scary protagonist, willing to stop at nothing to get what he wants from our miracle hero. And damn, it's scary mainly because he seems like somebody we've all encountered at some point.